In this video, I'm going to take you through the new and quite important changes to HDR workflows. Now I've got a brand new library here, and if you have the library selected, you'll see at the top it is now a standard gamut SDR library, not just standard. You can still change to wide gamut HDR if you wish, and the rules of these two kinds of libraries are still the same. You can create any kind of timelines in a wide gamut HDR library, but you can only create standard SDR timelines in a standard gamut SDR library. Now I'll leave that as standard for the moment, and I'll select my event, quickly go to the finder, and we'll have a look at these HDR sample clips. Now, you can shoot HDR on a modern iPhone or many other modern cameras. And if I try to import them into Final Cut Pro, if this is the first time that I've tried to import HDR clips, I get this new dialog. Now, I can switch the library to HDR. It doesn't force me to use HDR timelines, though that does become an option. One thing that will change if you do this, though, is that if you've used curves adjustments, they may look slightly different in an HDR library. Now I am going to switch this to HDR. Now, when you scrub through clips that are HDR and SDR, they're now going to look the same. And if I make a new project, and I'm just going to make this a standard SDR timeline, if I add one of these clips and take a look at it, you'll see it looks normal. Now, it wouldn't have looked normal in the old Final Cut Pro, and the feature which is making this work is found in the Video Inspector, all the way at the bottom, a new feature on by default called Color Conform. It's automatically detected that this is an HDR, specifically an HLG clip, and it's converting it to SDR. If I turn that off, then I get the old blown out clip that you are probably used to seeing if you've been shooting on the iPhone and then working in SDR projects. Now, if you want to overwrite this, you can put it to manual and choose whatever you want. This works backwards as well. If you're using standard graphics in an HDR project, you may wish to use SDR to 100% HDR, or perhaps just H SDR to HDR PQ to make sure the whites in the graphics are as bright as everything else. But in most circumstances, you'll just be able to leave this as automatic, and then you can mix HDR and SDR clips as you wish. Next up, I'm going to show you the new kind of colour adjustment that's available for colour correction in Final Cut. 